Finnish Prime Minister Sanna Marin to a divorce husband just months after partying scandal. So, yes, we may have a geriatric puppet as our leader. Yes, Canada may have a blackface Nazi as their leader. But at least we don't have a party like Sarostitute in charge of the country. It could always be worse. Though Finland's outgoing prime minister announced Wednesday that she's divorcing her husband just a few months after she came under fire for partying on the job and dancing intimately with another man. Yeah, I don't even know if I could show that on YouTube safely. The prime minister, Sana Marin, 37, and her husband of th three years, of course, uh, Marcus uh, Raikkonen, uh, shared on Instagram stories that they had jointly fought for divorce. We're grateful for the 19 years together and our beloved daughter. We remain best friends, they wrote. So I guess, so what? So they were, I guess, uh, friends with benefits for 16 years, then got married? Hmm. The former couple uh, married in August of uh, current year minus three when Finland was grappling with the pandemic. We have lived uh, our youth together, entered adulthood together, and grown into parents of our dear daughter together, Marin wrote on Instagram at the time. <laughs> and now we're going our own separate ways together. Though Marin, who's the world's youngest prime minister when she was elected at age 34 in uh, current year minus four, was forced to defend her work ethic last August when videos leaked of her partying uh, raucously, including footage of her grinding against an unknown man. <laughs> yeah, just, just imagine for a second uh, having videos of the leader of your country, like basically twerking on some unknown dude's dick. While she's prime minister, like it, it's not like this was like an old college video of hers. No, th this this was like last Tuesday. Man, th this is exactly the type of person you want in charge of your country, isn't it? You know, Marin acting like a single 20-something. It was hard to believe that she is married. Ha, was married. One witness told the Finnish media of the top uh, polls wild night out. Yeah, man, I don't feel so bad about Brandon anymore. The uh, Marin later issued a tearful public apology. I am also human, as Marin uh, said, adding, I do my job. I learn from this. Yeah, funny enough, the vast majority of other humans, for some reason, would not have issues doing this. Like, if you are the leader of your country, you at least got to understand that everything you do is going to be under intense scrutiny and live your life accordingly. Despite the gaffe, Marin remained popular with younger moderates, many of whom lauded her as a role model for younger, regressive millennial leaders. <laughs> so uh, wasn't her government notorious for completely falling apart during the pandemic? I, I remember those articles in 2019 when she got elected. It, it was like, oh, the, the world, the first ever like all feminist cabinet. So you had her and like her like top like three or four leaders were all women. Oh, girl power, women can do anything men can do. And then as soon as the pandemic hit, they were pretty much begging men for help because they couldn't handle it. Like, yeah, w women make great leaders as long as there's no problems and everything is running smoothly. I mean, literally, you could literally put a cheese sandwich in charge when everything is running well and, and nothing would get worse. But as soon as they, they, they run into a little bit of trouble... Things get, uh, the, the, the narrative falls apart, let's just say. Now, she conceded last month after a Social Democrat Party came up short in Finland's parliamentary election. She's expected to step down as party leader when the new parliament begins in the fall. What she doesn't, though, uh, she could technically, I mean, she wouldn't be prime minister anymore, but, uh, well, actually, wait, she doesn't have a choice. The party could vote her out if they don't want her. Yeah, it, it, I mean, stepping down is probably preferable to her, but she could also just be removed. I mean, it, it is, I'm guessing Finland works like most other countries do, like with their, um, like where you vote for the party and the party appoints the leader. So the party appoints the leader and the party can, uh, what the party giveth, the party can taketh away. I love the top comment too. I consider myself a libertarian and usually don't care less about a person's behavior in private. I've come to the conclusion that I might be wrong. It, it depends on your position. If you are literally the leader of your whole country, you can't go around acting like the same hoe you were when you were 20, okay? You got to at least be a little bit uh, more secretive about that if you're going to do it.